This is Dolany TV, and ladies and gentlemen, once again back on the Bakersfield Condors Talk. Got myself a mug of tea because we've got a lot to talk about. Obviously, I went into the playoffs knowing that I'm probably not going to be able to keep up my absolute best at doing this for the Bakersfield Condors kind of stuff. But without further ado, Game 3 in the books. Bakersfield leads 2-1. On the brink of elimination are the Colorado Eagles, and Evan Bouchard has made his debut for our Condors down there in the HL. But guys, let me tell you, like, you, you sit here, and I, I've followed along, right? I've kind of watched the scores happen and stuff like that. I need to get myself AHL TV. I will get myself AHL TV in May once we get into the next playoff series. Just kind of trying to figure things out. That Cold Lake trip was a little expensive, but that's not for me to preach to you. What I'm preaching today is the fact that our Bakersfield Condors, like I said, have a chance to eliminate the Colorado Eagles in four games. That's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we would like to take that one in Colorado game two on Saturday. But, hey, you know what? Uh, Mile High City uh, may be partaking in some of the fun festivities that are available in Colorado on said April 20th. But to keep it more down to earth, you know what? It's bound to happen. Playoffs are a grind, and you're going to lose one or two games along the way. Obviously, if you're going through the playoffs and you sweep all the way to the championship series, you know what you're asking for. You're asking to be swept in the finals. So, thankfully, Bakersfield's got one loss out of the way. Let's not get another one before this round's over, and let's get on our way. So, 3-2 was the Friday score to lead the series 1-0, and then obviously down 4-1, and then a 5-2 victory last night, April 23rd. Holy crap, guys. I have The dates have been all messed up. The way I've gotten my dates this week have been via how many things I had to deliver in a day, but Tuesday, that was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. The Condors do not play again until... Saturday, so we get a nice little break off, a couple of days to reset, and a couple of days to bask in the glory. That was the debut for Evan Bouchard in the AHL. How about a three-point night? And what I'm going to fill you in on is, of course, you guys know me. I, I really don't know much about the Condors. I try not to know much. But as an Edmonton Oilers fan, telling other Edmonton Oilers fans who might not go out of their way to look for these stats, that's what I'm here to do for you today. And this is my kind of uh, take on it just based off of the stat sheet obviously my number one take when it comes to the playoffs as I said in the truck on the way to deliveries today I said you always need those guys that didn't step up in the regular season to step up and be your leaders during the postseason obviously true in every sport right every unsung hero comes to light during the postseason if you're going to make it to the final and that's uh, what I'm looking at as the case for a guy like Evan Poli, who's now got three points in three games, fantastic, 10 penalty minutes. That looks like either a misconduct or two fighting majors. We'll find out if I can do the deep dive into the score sheets. And then Evan Bouchard, like I said, the debut, a goal and two assists, three points. Well, hey, Kale McCarr, I hear you're a good player, but uh, Evan Bouchard does that in his AHL debut. I know it's the AHL, so let's not get too fancy, but... Hey, I'm having fun with this one today, guys, if you can't tell. Having a little bit of fun, uh, just relaxing, actually, so we'll, we'll get through it. Patrick Russell, three points in three games played. Great, uh, great thing to see out of him. Again, Patrick Russell, a guy who made the pro roster this year, but a guy who wasn't in an exact, like, standout standout, like Benson, Marudi, or Dan Bardella this year in the AHL, but a guy who has that second-tier scoring for this team. Again, stepping up, getting it done. William Legison and Joseph Gambardella, along with Brad Malone, Stanton, Esposito, Keegan Lowe. This, guys, this is great to see. In the regular season, Keegan Lowe started really slow, finished the year quite all right, but I was giving him kind of gears when I interviewed Matt Moss, which, like, what, you're expecting that little production on your AHL captain for a guy who's played in the NHL, like, what's going on? But it's all about Keegan Lowe and his style of leadership on and off the ice. And to have two points in the playoffs and have a series lead after three games, hey, that says something about the guy that wears the C for our Bakersfield Condors. Sorry, I made a really good cup of tea. Logan Day had that goal. I believe that was game one. Let me go double check my stuff. <laughs> ah, guys, live production, always fun. I just deleted my uh, 
sheet I had there. Let's go one three two series game and let's see Condor's goal, Brad Malone, and then Eagles goal. Condor's goal was William Legacy. And yes, I said Logan Day had a goal in game one. He indeed did. And it was assist to Gambardella and Brad Malone. There you go. That is the stats I'm looking for. And then everybody else kind of chipping in, right? Everybody's pretty much got a point. You've got Ethan Bear on the score sheet. Josh Curry, David Gust, Caleb Jones, and then everybody else off the score sheet. Tyler Benson, this is where, like I was saying, you have to have your guys step up, stand out during the regular season if they want to make the NHL next season. But they also have to have a repeat performance. I've, I've been very voicing that for about two weeks now. And the repeat performance is the playoff run for a lot of these young Bakersfield Condors. So far, Tyler Benson, very quiet. Cooper Marodi, very quiet. But you got to imagine, you, you, you aren't expecting these guys to come out in the challenging times in the AHL in their first grinded out games, go and get it done. That's That would be a little bit too high expectations, I think. But as the playoffs go along, definitely expect them to come to life, I, I would say. And that's just me looking at the stat sheet. Don't take me too seriously. If you're down there in Baco, let me know what, what's been your actual take on these guys in the postseason so far. Now, Shane Starrett and Tyler Vessel as well, pointless. So Mitch Callahan, pointless as well. We've uh, seen a couple of things about Mitch Callahan and how important his leadership will be on this team. For Shane Starrett, seven goals against in three games, 2.37, 2-1, and realistically an 896 save percentage. So that's where we kind of look at Shane Starrett and through three games, not quite as what we're used to, but I'm going to check just very briefly because this would make a lot of sense to me if suddenly there were less shots on net. Obviously giving up seven goals in the playoffs isn't going to help your cause, but let's see. So where do I have my stats here? Three stars, shots on goal, Bakersfield 41, 18 for Colorado in what was that, game one? Yeah, uh, game three, so that was game three. Only 18 shots for the Colorado Eagles in game three, 28 in game one. So realistically, not a lot of shots faced by Shane Starrett. And again, in the 4-1 loss, Shane Starrett just having a bad game, 22 shots again. So I guess what you can say is you can look at Shane Starrett's numbers off the score sheet, right? The stats, point, leaderboard, whatever. You want to call it on the Bakersfield Condors website and say, man, he's, he's not playing up to his par that he was on the season. But maybe for once, an Edmonton Oilers affiliated team has defense again back to my point about Keegan Lowe leading on and off the ice your captain's on the back end showing you how to do it why not follow a guy with NHL experience if you're Caleb Jones Logan Day Ethan Bear Evan Bouchard Dimitri uh, no Simon Rukov's in the minors one of my holy Christ uh William Legison that's who I was meaning to mention sorry guys like I said having a little bit of fun with it but also getting a little bit lost at times so Overall takes from what I've been able to read so far into the playoffs at this point of the year, I'd say going for elimination on Saturday, that's going to be huge for the Condors because you get into a first ever franchise history playoff series and now you get a chance to go out there and eliminate someone in the playoffs. Come on now, how good does that feel? How good does that sound if you're a bunch of rookies down there in the AHL trying to make the NHL next season? If your guys like Gambardella like Curry, like Callahan, guys that have been here, obviously Keegan Lowe, guys that have been here, done that year over year in most of their career. Well, guess what? These guys are getting a shot to do something that this team A has never done and possibly that they have really not done in their career or that they've done once and would like to do again before capping it off. So there you go. Positive first steps. Now we have to go out there and get ourselves an elimination game victory in Bakersfield. And the benefit is the way that these three game series are slated to start the playoffs. This is the beauty of it is that you have the first two games are on the road. If you're the team that holds court in the home series advantage, and then you play your last three games at home. So essentially what I was really hoping Bakersfield was going to do was play two on the road, win both, and then come home and eliminate Colorado on Tuesday. That didn't happen, but we have that 2-1 series lead. And guys, it's as simple as guys like Benson and Maruti finding their game in the playoffs and then Shane Starrett getting a couple more shots, getting a little bit more fancy in that net. And the guys 
like Evan Polite, like Dave Gust, like, you know what I mean, Mitch Callahan, those guys coming up clutch when the team needs it most and we move on to the second round and then all of a sudden guys, in no time at all, right up there in that spot, you will see a Bakersfield Condors third alternate jersey hanging up in no time at all. Guys, I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. I need to buy HL TV. That's my conclusion. What's your conclusion? I will catch you in uh, the next one.